Shalom, my beloved. Shalom. May the peace of God be with you. Yes. May God bless you. May he keep you. May he smile on you. May he make you happy. And may you find your happiness in him. May you find a reason to be grateful unto him. God bless you. How are you all doing? I believe and trust God that by his mercies and his grace, we are doing well. The bless his holy name. Today, I have come to assure you or to reassure you in case you are forgetting something or in case your heart is telling you that oh god has delayed this cannot happen in case you are trying to give up on your petition before the lord in case you are looking at your age and say this cannot be possible i'm old this cannot be possible the opportunity has passed i have just come to reassure you or to remind you that it is not it is never over until God says it is over it is never done until God says it is done yes that situation huh, can be changed unless God says otherwise today I want us to talk on the topic of barrenness yes fruit of the womb the fruit of the womb are you believing God for the fruit of the womb? Then I'm here to assure you that God has done it. I'm here to assure you, you are in the second month of the year, which is February. I am here to assure you that before the year will go to an end, you have a reason to celebrate. There will be a cry of a baby in your home. You will be a mother and you carry your child in your laps. You carry your child in your hands. You carry your child and breastfeed your child. I'm here to reassure you of the promise of God. That God is going to do that which he has promised. Because he's not a man that he will lie. If God has made people to conceive. If God had made people with a shut womb, barren womb. To conceive God will do it for you if God can make someone without a womb to carry a child and give birth after nine months God will do it for you can we please share the word of prayer before we begin our message father in heaven we thank you for this opportunity to come to remind your people that you are not sleeping or slumber or forgetting about their request or you will not do their request for them but you want me to assure them that it is on the way father i thank you i pray that they receive this word because your word said without faith it is impossible to place you without faith none can receive anything from you so father i pray that may you increase their faith as they hear this word they will claim it and receive it and it shall be done in their lives to the glory of your name in jesus christ mighty name i have prayed amen when you read the bible sarah sarah was a barren woman yes sarah was a barren woman sarah was of age and she was not conceiving i want to ask you are you also of age and you are thinking that oh so am i going to die and leave everything that i will not have a child to call my own to inherit me to for my name to continue i am here to let you know that it does not matter your age god can still perform a miracle because he is a faithful god the bible said in genesis chapter 21 the verse 1 to 2 if you have your bible just read there how god visited Sarah. God visited Sarah and Sarah was able to conceive and give birth. Hallelujah. I just want to assure you that God will do that which you are waiting upon him for. Yes, anything that you must give birth to, God is going to make it to happen in your life. Let us read it. Read Genesis chapter 1. Sorry, Genesis chapter 21, the verse 1 to 2. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age. At a set time of which God had spoken to him. Hallelujah. The Bible said God visited Hannah, Sarah. Meaning God remembered Sarah. God will remember you child of God. 
God will remember you. God will grant it unto you. God will also make you a mother. As long as God remembered Sarah, the other word of visited is remembered. God remembered and visited Sarah and she was able to conceive. God visited to, to arrange, to, to, to work on the womb, to work on the system, the fallopian tube, the uterus, whatever that is blocking the way for the miracle to take place. God visited her and she he worked on her and that was when Sarah was able to give birth. I pray today that God will remember you, God will visit you, and the fruit of the womb that you are praying for, it shall be granted unto you. I ought to use some people in the Bible that God remembered. I know many God has given us prophecy that your children will be blessed, that you have children and your children will do this, but you're of age and the child is not coming. I want to let you know that God has not forgotten that. The Bible makes it understand that. And Hannah and God remembered or visited Sarah. When you read the previous verse, the Bible makes it understand that God promise Abraham that your wife will not be called what Sarai again but should be called Sarah I don't know if I got the first one called Sarai but should be called Sarah because she will be a mother and have the baby that will come out of her womb will be a blessing so God visited her at the point time at the, a particular time that he has promised at the set time God's timing does not fail. When the time came, he visited Sarah and Sarah bore Abraham the child and she was be, and she became the mother of nation. She became the mother of nation, the mother who was who God blessed. Sarah. Hallelujah. The wife of Abraham I want us to read uh, something in Genesis 25, the verse 21 to the verse 24, also about Rebecca. The Bible makes us understand that Rebecca was also barren. Who has declared you barren? Is it a community? Is it a doctor or your family? Who has declared you barren? The Bible is telling us that these people were declared as barren women in the Bible. Even who, even Hannah, was referred to as a woman with the shut womb. But if Goshu could open a barren womb, a woman, a womb that cannot carry seed, if God opened those wombs for them to be able to conceive and bear children, God will do it for you. Let us read something, Angel. Like I said in Genesis chapter 30, Genesis, oh no, sorry, Genesis 25, that verse 21 to 24, okay? Genesis 25. Let us read Genesis chapter 25, the verse 21 to the verse 24. Let us hear the word of the Lord. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, meaning the husband seek the face of the Lord concerning the situation of his wife being bad and not being able to conceive. This is what the Bible is making us understand. So as a husband, you can also entreat your wife case before the Lord and God will answer you. It is not only the woman that you'll be sleeping, eating and sleeping and, and not be giving this your wife peace of mind. But the Bible makes us understand that Isaac, 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 Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him and Rebecca his wife conceived hallelujah who told you that as a husband you, your family are bombarding your wife and you the husband you can do you can't do anything about it who told you that men cannot also go on their knees before the Lord and pray and ask the Lord to bless their wife with the fruit of the womb? And it's not only the work of the woman that the woman will be praying alone and be waiting there for you to see results. Pray. Pray for your wives. Pray for your wife. And Isaac entreated his wife's case before the Lord. And the Lord was so kind to hear him. And the Lord visited his wife. Rebecca and Rebecca was able to conceive. So if your wife is going through a problem, if your wife is going through something, be the prayer warrior. Pray for your wife. Take the case before the Lord and the Lord will hear. 
the Bible said, and his wife conceived, hallelujah, and the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I this? And she went to inquire of the Lord, hallelujah. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in your womb, Mandori Katahaja. Your miracle has delayed because what God is preparing for you, your children will not be just a mere children, no, no children that will be on the street, no, no children that will come and disgrace and embarrass you or to destroy your lineage, or children who will be nations, children that will be great, children that the Lord will use. For the world to see children that the god they will see god in their doings and the bible said and the lord said unto her two nations are in your womb and your manner of people shall be born of you and and two manner of people shall be born of you and the one people shall be stronger than the other people and the other shall sell the younger and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to let you know that God is not a man that will lie. Yes. Some of you, you are carrying nations. Some of you, you are carrying nations. You are carrying prophets. So God has to prepare them. God has to bring them in the right time that they need to be born. The, the the children struggled. Some of you are carrying nations. Some of you, what God is going to give you is going to blow the mind of people. It's going to come to change life. Your children will come to be great. So God is preparing you. God, Rebecca carried twins in her womb. And the Bible says she's carrying nations. I want to let you know you also carry a nation. God will bless you. You will not die like that. God is going to change your name. You're not just to be called a woman, woman, but you'll be called mother to the glory of his name. When you read Genesis chapter 30, the verse 22, the, about Rachel, Rachel also suffered this same shame of barrenness, this same shame of shut womb, this same case. And the Bible makes us to understand in Genesis 30 the verse 22 that God remembered Rachel. God heard her prayer and God opened her womb. So today I pray may God open your womb. What has happened to your womb? Anything that is hindering you from conceiving, may it be removed by the blood of the Lamb. May God wash your womb with His blood. May God wash your womb with the blood. Whatever the case is, maybe through something you have done in the past, maybe when you are coming out, you do things that you are the cause of your womb that has been shut and damaged. I pray that may God in His mercy visit you and open your womb. May God in His mercy remember you. May God God in his mercy restore back your womb to the glory of his name. There is nothing our God cannot do. I am here to assure you that you are not too old to glorify. God will change your name. You will no more be called a woman, but God will change your name to be called a mother. You will experience the joy of motherhood. You will experience, you will experience the joy of motherhood. You will not die crying of barrenness, but God is opening your womb. God is healing your womb. God is revisiting that hospital result. God is revisiting that that is preventing you from giving birth. God is revisiting your case. The angel of the Lord is working on me in behalf of you. You will conceive. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive your miracle baby in the name of Jesus. Receive your nation in the name of Jesus. Genesis chapter 10 verse 20 to 24 and uh, and God remembered Raquel and God hearkened to her and opened her womb receive it and receive a new womb in the name of Jesus receive a new womb in the name of Jesus God is opening your womb that shut womb that close womb that damaged womb 
God is reopening it. God is visiting it. The, the doctor said there are tumors in your womb. There are tumors everywhere. There are tumors in your fallopian tube. Whatever the case is, God is revisiting your case. God is opening your case. God is opening your womb in the name of Jesus. When you read verse 23, it says, And she conceived and bore a son, and said, God has taken away my reproach. God is taking away your reproach. God is taking away your shame. God is taking away your disgrace. God is taking away your embarrassment. Whatever name the people have be calling you, God is taking it away. Before the year goes to an end, you will be called a mother. You will hear the cry of a baby in your house. We are in the second month. Today is 5th of January. We still have 10 months and some days to go. It's time enough for you to be able to conceive and give birth before the end of the year 2022. So receive receive your nation receive your miracle baby receive a new womb in the name of jesus christ God, tell you about that. when you read the verse 3 and the bible said and she called his name joseph and said the lord shall add to me another one god will not just give you a son god will not just give you a daughter but he will give you another 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 god will give you many more than you have even requested and prayed for God will bless you. Now, when you look at Elizabeth in the Bible too, Elizabeth also suffered the same shame of barrenness. But remember, God remembered Elizabeth and she should also become a mother. When you read uh, Luke chapter 1, let us look at something in Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, the Bible makes it understand something in Luke chapter 1, verse 13, 14, and then the 15 that. Ah, but the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zachariah, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth shall bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. You see, men, in the Bible, God is making us understand it is not only the women who cry and pray for his child, but their husband also seek the face of the Lord on their behalf. Their husbands also seek the face of the Lord on their behalf. And God heard their prayers. So you see you that you are watching me. Pray for your wife. Pray for your wife. Intercede for your wife. Ask for mercy on behalf of your wife. And God is going to hear you. And the Bible said, um, the verse 14, And you shall have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. You see what you are carrying? You see the reason why the baby is delaying? All these people that are mentioning, they give birth to greatness. They give birth to greatness. You see why your miracle is delaying? Because God has a purpose. God has a plan. I'm here to remind you that your case, it is not over. God is just waiting for the right time. I know someone that felt when we all live in a place way back uh, in Ghana. I know these couples. They have been married for years without a kid. I am sure there might be more creepy. People must be talking on their behalf. There might be reproaches from people. But when God remembered them I know when he come across this video he know that I'm the one I'm talking about God bless them with triplets God bless them with triplets two girls one boy receive this kind of blessing in the name of Jesus receive this kind of kindness from God in the name of Jesus God bless them with triplets he bless them with triplets I know that what you are carrying is great Know that you are carrying nation, you are carrying something great. So the enemy will rise, but God has the final say. The enemy has seen that the children you give birth will be great. So they will rise to prevail, to prevail or to prevent it. But God has the final say. When we look at Hannah in the Bible, the Bible makes us understand that Hannah was the woman with the shout womb. And God blessed her when she prayed and asked God for the fruit of the womb. She asked for a son and she made a vow to God to what? and treat that child to him and god blessed hannah and opened her womb and hannah conceived and gave birth to samuel when you read the history of samuel samuel was a great prophet of god that god began to speak to samuel when he was young god used samuel mightily in the bible 
I just want to confirm this. First Samuel chapter 1 verse 20. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood, in the blood of the Lamb, of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. First Samuel chapter 1 verse 20 said, Therefore it came to pass. When the time was come about after Hannah had conceived, that she bore a son and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. Hannah was the woman with a shut home. But God visited her and Hannah conceived and gave birth to Samuel. Look at how great Samuel was in the Bible. So I just want to encourage you that whatever you are waiting on the law for, God did not say he will not give it to you, but know that you are carrying greatness. Know that what is what the Lord will bring out of you will not be just a child that will come and give you trouble. Not be a child that will come and mingle with bad people that will make your heart to trouble, but a child that, sorry, God will use mightily. A child, nation will come out of you. So I want to encourage you. Keep your fingers crossed. Keep praying. Have faith in God. One thing I want to tell you is that pray. The Bible makes us understand that the husband prayed, seek the face of the Lord. The husband prayed and the woman prayed. Don't say, I'm waiting on the Lord and just sit there. Pray. The Bible makes us understand that Hannah prayed and made a vow unto the Lord. So prayer is the key. God has deposited greatness in you, but until you know that you have greatness in you and you wait to pray for God to intervene, for God to open that door, you will remain in that. Many have died with their miracles. Many have died, died along with their greatness because they did not pray. You need to pray. Seek the face of the Lord. Ask the Lord for him to know that this greatness that I have deposited in you, you really need it. Now you need it. You are ready. And God is going to bless you. Hannah was going there, but until she made up her mind that I need this greatness, I need a son, God did not visit her. So the Bible is telling us that God remember because they pray. So keep praying. Keep praying and have faith in God. God is going to answer you. Can we please share the word of prayer? My Father, my Father, my Lord, my God, my King, my Daddy, my everything, the source of my happiness, my laughter. Father, I give you all the glory. Thank you for your assurance. Thank you for your confirmation that even many people in the Bible have suffered this same case, have been barren, but you visited them and you opened their womb. Father, thank you for your word that you have promised us that even if our womb has been shut, you open it and visit us for us to be able to experience the joy of motherhood. Father, we confide in your word and we believe in your word that before the year goes to an end, we also be called a mother and we have a joy in our heart and we have the greatness, the joy of being a mother and experience that kind of happiness. Father, we believe in your word that before the year goes to an end, we will hear a cry of a baby. And Father, I pray that let it come to pass because we believe in your word. You are not a man that will lie, not a son of man that will change his mind. Father, I believe in your word. We trust in your word. And I know everyone that is receiving this word, watching this video, is also receiving this word. And I know that there will be miracles to the glory of your name. We thank you, Lord of Lord, kings of kings, everlasting Father, Jehovah Nishi, Jehovah Jireh, El Shaddai Adonai, the unchangeable God, the unpredictable God. You that you have deposited, deposited greatness in our womb, and now the wombs have been opened for that greatness to come forth for the world to see. We bless your name, Lord. We thank you for an answered prayer. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Five stand for Jesus. I said amen five times. J-E-S-U-S. 
Amen. It is settled in the name of Jesus. Just as the last time you told me that it is settled. So today, this case, it is settled. The case of barrenness, it is settled. The case of barrenness, it is settled in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll see you again, wonderful people, on my next upload. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe. Bye.